We're going to um, do a training video on how to properly draw blood from a canine jugular vein, and the subject is Mason. Um, part of jugular blood drawing is mainly the position and the restraint technique by the technicians who, hold, who is holding. So most importantly, you want to make sure that the person that is holding is holding the correct way. And if not, the person drawing the blood should be directing um, the technician that's restraining where you need to move the head uh, or body so that that jugular is easily located. Um, obviously, until you're good at technique, you should be shaving that area to give yourself just a, a small window. Once you're proficient at the procedure and you've become very good at the skill and the technique, you should not have to shave in order to see that. But for the sake of the video, we're going to shave so that it makes the jugular vein visible. So as you can see, the way that Mason is being held now, if I push my thumb, you're, you want your, your thumb to be in the jugular furrow, and you need to push fairly hard, especially since Mason is, tends to be broad-chested. You need to push in and up in order to see the jugular vein. You're going to wipe with alcohol. But as you can see, the way that, that he's being restrained right now makes it very hard for the jugular vein to be seen. So if I ask for his head to be lifted and then attempt again to push in and up, it is still difficult to see where that jugular vein pops out. But if Ashley lowers the head just slightly, it's still not quite as visible. Sunken. But if you notice when I push that time, it kind of popped up. And if you release, you'll see it disappear. It's right here. Push in and up, and it filled back up. It may be a little bit more difficult to see in the video. You should be able to feel once you get better at the technique. So again, if I push in and up, it fills. I'm also trying to pull the skin away slightly on this side because it tends to want to fold in like this. Once you have located the jugular vein and you feel comfortable about where you're going to place your needle, you always uncap with your fingers, not your mouth, and then you want your bevel to be up. You go in parallel to that jugular. You want a nice smooth stick and you're going to be using for jugular draws a 20 gauge needle. It's the appropriate size for a jugular draw. You don't need to poke hard, but you do need to use some force, especially for a jugular. Their walls tend to be slightly thicker. The important part about a jugular draw is your fingers need to be prepared to draw as it slides in. And the object is not to have to redirect to get that blood. But what you should not be doing, I'm done drawing blood, so I've released pressure and I'm holding pressure. What you should not be doing is redirecting this needle. If you need to move slowly out because maybe you went through and it's very superficial, that is fine. But you should never ever be redirecting, redirecting without drawing that needle out of the body and trying again. You don't want to dig around in the neck. You're obviously going to end up hitting something at some point. So once you've mastered the technique, you won't need to shave anymore. But that's how you do a canine jugular blood draw.